Hello everyone. Welcome to another tutorial for Google Classroom. So today I'm going to show you how to create announcement or how to give the students your lecture note. I usually first upload the lecture in Google Drive. So I'm going to show you how I do it. Go to the plus button and create announcement. The announcement box will show up. And uh, I usually create a topic for lecture notes. Lecture notes so that all the uh, when a student clicks on the lecture note topic, all the lecture notes comes up. So you have the, uh, created the topic and uh, now you can tell that the note for week one is here so that's that's the text you are putting now you can upload or uh, give the lecture notes in four different ways the first one is you can create an attachment so you can go inside your um, inside your computer uh, file location and you can directly upload your lecture and uh, that will work you can go to the Google Drive and then you can uh, uh, upload from there uh, you can also if it's a video you can just go to YouTube and search it, search your video and you can post it like that the most effective way or like most efficient way I found is to give the link. So what I do, I go to Google Drive, drive.google.com and in the Google Drive you already have uh, a classroom folder and then you have introduction to Python. So this folder is automatically created uh, in your Google Drive when you created the class in, in the Google Classroom. So I usually upload the files here. So I'm going to do it now just to show you how I do it. And uh, I can, I'll upload the file here. So week one, I have, I already taught this class uh, before. So I have all the things ready. So week one, I'm, I'm going to upload the lecture in, the, in that folder. And now you go there, uh, you double click on that and you click on more options and you click on share. You get shareable link. Then you copy the link, control C or copy. And then you go back and you go back to your classroom announcement uh, dialog box. You click on this share button, share link button, then you paste it here. And then you paste add link. So it's basically ready to be posted, but I'm just going to remind you what you are doing. So you are, click, you are creating a text that says something like the lecture note for week one is here. And then you create a topic. This is actually, I, I found it very helpful. Uh, like at the end of the course, maybe it's a three months course and you have like 12 lectures. And if you create a topic named lecture notes, when you click on the topic, all the lecture notes will come up. So it's very helpful for the students and also for the teachers. So this is basically ready. The announcement for lecture note is ready. So you are going to post it. So now the students will be able to see uh, this lecture and when they click on the lecture, uh, the, the link, they will be able to see the lecture note. And uh, again, you can go and check how many students you have. I, I, I only, just for this uh, course, I, I included uh, one student has joined. That was an example. 
and uh, you can actually have some actions here you can email each student you can remove the student if you don't but you probably don't want to you can mute mute means he will not be able to post or interact but you don't want to do that so this i often find it useful i if i want to personally email a student this is where you want to do that about i already showed what about is you can add texts here so that students have the description of the course and things like that or you can put your syllabus here this is a good place to put your syllabus in too so i just go back go back to stream and uh, now uh, now you can see that you have two topics and uh, you have a general topic for general announcement uh, that I showed you how to create in the beginning and this is a lecture note topic so if you click on the lecture note you'll have all the lecture notes here you have just one lecture note uploaded uh, till now so you have just one lecture note here you go back and um, and that's it that's it that's how you give the students a lecture note I'll see you in the next video